I know you're thinking, is Google Glass dead? Why are you wearing that? The fact is Google Glass is alive and well. It's just a restructuring of its focus. Now before in 2013, when they first announced this device, Google went all in for the consumers. But since then, they realized that wasn't the best target audience for this new technology. And since then, they kind of went in the dark in a different direction. And that focus is with businesses. Now in 2014, so about two years ago, Intision introduced to the world in dentistry Google Glass Loops, as you see behind me. Now that was a collaboration with Surgitel, the loop maker, to install optics to the device. But more importantly, that was our attempt to introduce a technology that could potentially change dental education and dental practice. After the introduction, our next challenge was the software. Initially, we had high expectations and hopes for ourselves and even making the software on our own, but we soon realized its real challenge. Luckily for us, Mikhail, one of our team members and dentition, had a lead to a company that made exclusively software for dentistry for Google Glass. And for about a year and a half, it was a match made in heaven. They, of course, provided the software engineering and software expertise, while I provided some clinical and educational focuses for them to work on. One of the more obvious projects you can see from the previous video hinted at was the idea of live stream or recorded videos for students to watch on glass while working at the same time in a pre-clinical situation. It is that dual interaction of watching and working right away that can really allow the student to implement themselves and integrate their dental skills. Now, for the majority of the video, I'm gonna focus on another modality that glass can potentially change, and that is the integration with electronic health records. Now, this isn't a change to the desktop electronic health record. It's just a change to the mission control of it. We're not reinventing the, the rocket. We're just reinventing the way we fly it. So with Google Glass, imagine a dentist walking into its office for the first time in the day and he puts the glass on. He's immediately greeted by a card of his first patient and procedure. On this card is a list of the radiograph that he's doing, the procedure, and some important health alerts about that particular patient. Now, as the dentist is working, the dentist could receive a notification from the front desk saying that the next patient will be 10 minutes late. So this is great, so the dentist doesn't have to rush, no matter how efficient he is, he can kind of take his time. Now after the procedure is done, the dentist can then enter his progress notes. The great thing is about glass is you can conveniently use your voice control to enter your progress notes. For example, a provider can easily say something like this. Completed, number four, root canal. With that command, glass can enter a predefined progress note and then prompt the user with specific entries that are, are particular to that procedure and patient. For example, for a root canal, the first prompt would be the number of local anesthesia, the second prompt could be the location of the anesthesia, the third could be the amount of caries, and the fourth could be the number of canals and what obturation issues. So once that all is entered by voice, it could be quickly bridged onto the desktop and it's all there. When I first saw this work the other day, it completely blew my mind. It automatically was reflective of the future for me. It is much more convenient, much more user friendly to be able to enter notes by voice and have that bridge over to your desktop without worrying about the mouse or the keyboard. I'm a clinician, I do root canals all day, I enjoy that process, but having to enter notes and thorough notes each time from scratch even is very time consuming and sometimes very stressful and it gets irritating. But with this, it makes our focus completely to the clinical aspect and we don't have to worry about the cumbersome aspect of entering notes into the electronic health records. Okay guys, that's a preview to come. I just wanted to give you that update so you guys can still continue to get excited. There's gonna be a series of videos about this progress and I'll introduce you to the software company very soon. They are incredible. They have the potential to not only be the software company for Google Glass and electronic health records, but they have the potential to be the software company for dentistry and even for medicine as well.